on the South Bank, next to the Globe Theatre. I was just always looking for different places to play in London, and the opportunity to play in the round is always compelling. I think it's much more inducive in an intimate performance. That theatre was built with that kind of geometry. You know? I mean, they're very, very aware of the esoteric implications of their design then, and Shakespeare was very interesting. I think everyone was there. I think it's very normal to have magic imbued in your daily life. It gives me an opportunity to revisit some of the music from the opera I did, Dr. D, and I brought along a couple of players who actually played in the original production of that. It allows different instruments into the space that I wouldn't necessarily might get drowned out in a big arena. Welcome to Shakespeare's Grove Theatre. This is a real pleasure for us, so enjoy. Stay clear of the really popular stuff, just because I think there's other places you can hear that, and, and whereas some of, some of the stuff tonight you really wouldn't get a chance to hear unless you're in a place like this. Ongi is now going to play the theorbo, which as you can see is, a, is a quite an extraordinary instrument. I feel like if Led Zeppelin had discovered that, everything would be different. In the fourth hour of night At first sleep an angel came to me And she warned me Of the battles I would lead Illuminated only by tears Cinnamon girl, I summon you here Lay by my side until... I think it's great for London. It's a great advertisement for what we have in London. You know, people see this beautiful theatre in so many different places. Wonderful. We really be able to sort of enjoy the journey with us and see where it takes us. Chris, who's the countertenor who played Edward Kelly in the original production. Edward Kelly was uh, uh, Dr. John Dee's scryer, and his function was to uh, communicate with angels. I hope that we all somehow connect with the spirit of this place because, I mean, I think within the globe it's possible to sort of transport yourself back to Elizabethan London. <laughs> 